um, was a part of the game, you accepted it. Yeah, I've been involved in hockey f all my life, and, and it was just part of it, was, but I was never proud of it. Then came the fateful night last December, when Mike decided not to make the three-and-a-half-hour drive to see Don play. And it was like, yeah, sure, and in the back of your mind, you're thinking, what, what's going to happen? I mean, the worst thing is going to phone me and say, Dad, I uh, broke my wrist. Never in a million years would you ever, 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 ever think that that'd be the last time you talk or, or say anything to your son. It's just... It was in Brantford, Ontario, two weeks before Christmas, the hometown blast entertaining their opponents from Whitby. The Ontario Senior League has stiff penalties for fighting. Do it and you're out of the game. But Don Sanderson had already fought four times this season. He described the first to his father. And he phoned me and goes, I got in a fight and I said, why? He says, somebody went after our captain. And he says, you know what? My captain's a lot better and more important to the team. Oh, you know, and the guy dropped fuck. his glove. He says, what am I going to do, Dad? I got to defend myself. <laughs> at first, the fight at the Brantford Civic Center seemed a typical hockey tussle. Two players squaring off, grabbing jerseys, dodging punches. But then, Don Sanderson's helmet came off. And as often happens, the fighters Holy lost fuck. their bodies. When they fell, his unprotected head slammed onto the ice. Back home, Mike waited for his son's usual post-game phone call. I actually phoned a cell phone, I guess it was just after 11, going, hey, like, what's up? You haven't called me. When the phone finally rang, it brought news that Don had been rushed to Hamilton General Hospital. It's serious. He's got a serious